about 300 million years ago, during the Carboniferous period, an almost completely different set of animals populated the planet from the ones we know today. Some of the most intriguing creatures to live during this period were called Meganeura, otherwise known as giant dragonflies. These monstrously large insects resembled modern dragonflies, but were much, much larger. Keep watching to learn more about these incredible animals. Actually, despite the fact that Meganeura looked quite similar to today's dragonflies, the two species are not as closely related as you might initially think. Modern dragonflies and damselflies, Odonata, whereas giant dragonflies belong to the family Meganisoptera, and are actually more accurately described as griffinflies. The name Meganeura directly translate to large-veined owing to the complex patterns of veins that have been found in giant dragonfly wing fossils. The very first dragonfly fossils were discovered in 1880 in France, though other fossils have since been found in Kansas, Oklahoma, and the United Kingdom. If you ever want to see a giant dragonfly wing fossil in person, take a visit to the Museum of Comparative Zoology on Harvard University's campus. A fossilized giant dragonfly wing is part of their permanent exhibit. Like their modern dragonfly counterparts, giant dragonflies were fearsome carnivorous predators. Their heads had a pair of powerful mandibles or crushing organs which allowed them to snap up and incapacitate their prey, which probably included the predecessors of today's roaches and other prehistoric beetles. Their tiny, spiny front limbs probably also evolved to help them hunt. Scientists believe that even in their larval stages, giant dragonflies were accomplished hunters. In their youth, giant dragonflies probably ate amphibian larvae and small water insects. However, like any insect, even the largest of giant dragonflies weren't immune to predation themselves. Scientists believe that primitive sharks, reptiles, and amphibians might have eaten the young giant dragonflies. However, once they matured to their full size, it's unlikely that many aerial predators would attempt to try to eat them. As far as we know, giant dragonflies were the largest insects to ever exist. Scientists believe that the average giant dragonfly's body was about 18.5 inches long with an average wingspan of approximately 29.5 inches. For comparison purposes, the largest living dragonflies today are called Megaloprepus carolatus, and their wingspans average out at 7.5 inches. They're about four times smaller than the Meganeropus permiana, which was the largest species of giant dragonfly. How on earth did the M. permiana evolve to become so outrageously large? Meganeura were not the only giant insects to live during the Carboniferous period. In fact, Several other, now extinct, massive insect families lived at the same time as the Meganeura, including the Paleodictyoptera. During the Carboniferous period, the oxygen levels in Earth's atmosphere were much higher than they are today, reaching up to 35% compared to today's average level of about 20%. Invertebrate animals like dragonflies were able to take advantage of these elevated oxygen levels through their unique system of breathing. Unlike vertebrate animals, which breathe through lungs, insects breathe using a complex pathway of external pores and internal tubes. Oxygen enters through the pores and travels throughout the body in the tubes. Because the atmosphere was so oxygen-rich 300 million years ago, many scientists believe that prehistoric insects were able to breathe much more easily and to grow to a much larger size. The elevated oxygen levels of the Carboniferous period were both a blessing and a curse for the Meganeura. At the end of the Permian period, about 250 million years ago, the average global oxygen level dropped from its Carboniferous high. It's likely that many giant insect species literally went extinct because their bodies were too large for them to breathe. Only smaller species were able to survive. The rise of birds might have also contributed to the extinction of giant insects like the Meganeura. 
Although both birds and giant dragonflies could fly, birds were able to take off from the ground more quickly and were generally more agile and maneuverable than flying insects. This meant that they easily outcompeted the Meganeura for food, starving out the giant insects and contributing to their extinction. It's interesting to imagine what would happen if Earth's oxygen levels were to suddenly rise up to their carboniferous levels again. Would we witness the return of giant insects like the Meganeura? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share.